So, uh, I meant to do a video on this a couple week a week ago, or maybe a little more than that, when it first kind of came out, but, uh, well, I've been working, and I've been exhausted, and, yeah, that's pretty much my entire excuse. Uh, anyway, consent in gaming. This whole fucking thing is pretty much bullshit, I'll be honest. Uh, like most people who thought, who've kind of just read the title, it's like, it is a pretty, um, bullshit idea. Uh, the fact is, the second you sit down to a game of D&D, you're consenting to whatever the hell's happening there, and the second you get up to leave, you are revoking that consent and getting the fuck out of there. As long as nobody has a gun to your head, nobody's forcing you to do anything, it's all cool. That's how it is. Um, though, if we're gonna go through this, there's actually some good things in this, though. I'm gonna go just to this checklist. The problem is, it's, uh, it's faced the wrong way. Um, okay, well, that's the secondary problem. The main, main problem is it introduces bureaucracy where talking to, just talking to your GM or something would work better. Just walking up and saying, hey, bud, I'm not cool with this. It would work better if you just kind of talked to him. It's, it, it's a lot easier. But if for some reason you're in a, uh... You're in a game that's not very, like a one-shot that's like taking place at a convention or something, then maybe you want uh, assurances that you'll have fun. You know? You don't want to walk up into something you just like creeps you out. Like say there's some uh, very vivid description of bugs or uh, honestly something, or like child murder or anything like that. Something that really just disgusts you. And you're like, you know what? I don't want any part of that. Let's get off. None of that. So, okay, fine. Uh, but the proposed solution they have here is a consent checklist. You won't, you, uh, okay or not okay with any of these things filled out. And then the GM has to work around you. That isn't usually how things work. Especially not if you're, uh, going to the GM to run things, which is typically typically how it goes. This thing is based around... Alright, so... It needs to be switched the other way around. If you're going to introduce bureaucracy where there doesn't need to be any, which, you know, sometimes there are. I'll give you an example in a minute. It needs to be switched the other way around. Be like, okay... Like a list of tags in a, in a video game. It's like, uh, look on Steam, you have tags for like open world action gore and then like reason and then it has like uh and then a description of it so it has tags and description so maybe put something like that where you have a uh, say all right i'm gonna look at this game right here which i actually noticed looks really cool to be honest it's a uh elder scrolls game and he's talking about kind of he'll tell you about the lore and most people know what Elder Scrolls is about. So if it was this, you'd be like, okay, so any uh, any particular um, how should I put this? Any so for if for some reason this campaign was built around having a uh, a bunch of demons and shit, it'd be like demons tagged and shit like that. Alright, all right, here's one. It's uh, Lost Pines of Fendelver, but with bugs. Kind of a troll campaign. If you're afraid of bugs, you probably shouldn't be in this campaign. So, what these guys are proposing they do is you take this form, fill it out, and then put it into the apply here please section. When, really, you would be doing this. Nate, when what really you would be doing is, and they already kind of have this, you know, uh, name, age, character idea, brief backstory, and then, yeah, it's kind of, you're, so you've got all these guys, how they, or this one guy, this must not have been built very long ago, I imagine, oh, you know, 17 hours, yep, I can see, I would definitely, I can't, 
honestly, if I had the time, I'd totally join this campaign. I really love the idea of a Elder Scrolls based uh, campaign, but I just don't have the time. But no, it's uh, yeah. I'm just saying, it's kind of it's the other way around, you know. When you're coming to the DM to officiate your game, you're gonna walk up and you're gonna tell it, and you're just gonna tell him that you don't want uh, that you don't want a I, I don't want any of this in the game because I am the most important person here, and it's not anybody else's game. You know, you know what? If, what if somebody else at the table is like? Dude, I love the idea of just fighting mo waves and waves of bugs everywhere. It's like no, no. I know this is, said it was a, it was a, lost minds of lost minds with bugs, but I don't like bugs. Bugs creep me out. No bugs. No. See, so you're going to the DM for the game. You're going to freaking uh, talk to him about it. You know, you're going. You, you, Maybe you should just go find a different game, you know? I don't know. This does have some merit in leaving warnings at the beginning of your game, but that's about it. That's all I'm saying. I, I probably rambled on about pretty much nothing for minutes on end now. Um, yeah, sorry. I, I, I meant to post this a while ago, but I kind of forgot. But I kind of... I was exhausted, and then I kind of forgot about it after a while. And thought about it again and I needed to post something meh anyway that's it uh hopefully within the next week or two I'm gonna have a review of uh Torchlight 2 which is a game pretty much you could look up on YouTube and find a different review which is probably better at any time and yeah you I don't know why you know what watch mine because I'm awesome okay and, and you and you all love me that that's it just watch mine uh <laughs> it came out on Switch, and I just kind of got into it, really enjoying it, but I figured I'd pop this up in, a me in the meantime. Yeah. Big point, th again, don't inject bureaucracy if you don't have to. I will see y'all later.